What keeps you up at night? Well, it's quite hard to run companies. Yeah. Especially car companies, I would say. It's quite challenging. The car business is the hardest one of all the things you do? Yes. Because it's a consumer-oriented business as opposed to like SpaceX and... Not that SpaceX. SpaceX is no walk in the park. But, but a car company, it's very difficult to keep a car company alive. It's very difficult. You know, there's only two car companies in the history of American car companies that haven't gone bankrupt, and that's Ford and Tesla. That's it. Yeah, Ford rode out that crazy storm, huh? They're the only ones. By the skin of their teeth. Shout out to the Mustang. Yeah. Yeah, by the skin of their teeth. That is interesting, right? Same with Tesla. We barely survived. How close did you get to folding? Very close. We, uh, 2008 is not a good time to be a car company, especially a startup car company, and especially an electric car company. That was like stupidity squared. And this is when you had those cool roadsters with the T-top? Yeah. With the um, uh, target top? Yeah. We had like a... Use a highly modified lease chassis. The body was all completely different. By the way, it was a super dumb strategy that we actually did. Why was we, it dumb? It was based on two false premises. Uh, one false premise was that we'd be able to uh, cheaply convert the Lotus lease um, and use that as a car platform, and that we would be able to use technology from this little company called AC Propulsion for the electric drivetrain uh, and the battery. Problem is, the AC propulsion technology did not work in production, and we ended up using none of it in the long term. None of it. We had to redesign everything. And then the once you add a battery pack and electric motor to the car, it got heavier, it got 30% heavier, invalidated the entire structure, all the crash structure, everything had to be redone. Nothing. Like the, I think it had less than 7% of the parts were common with any other device, including cars or anything. <laughs> less than 7%? Yes. Everything. Including tires and wheels, bolts, brakes. Yeah, even every, steering wheel. Seat. The steering wheel was, I think the steering wheel was almost the same. <laughs> yes, the, the the windscreen, wind, windscreen. Different. No, I think the windscreen is the same. Same. Yes, I think I think we were able to keep the less windscreen. than seven percent. So that's right. Basically, every body panel was different. The entire structure was different. The uh, we, we couldn't use the H like the HVAC system. The, the you know the air conditioner. Mm -hmm. Was a belt driven air conditioner, or, 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 oh, so now we right. needed a, something that was electrically driven. Which, we needed a new AC compressor, and all that takes away from the battery life as well, right? Yeah, we needed a, a, a small, highly efficient air conditioning system um, that fit in a tiny car and was electrically powered, not belt driven. <laughs> it was very difficult. <laughs> How much did those weigh? The those cars, the Roadster. I think it was about twenty seven hundred pounds. It's still very light. Depending on which version, twenty six fifty to twenty seven fifty pounds, something like that. And what was the weight distribution? Um, it was about 50, well, there were different versions of the car. Um, so it was about 55 on the rear. So it was re 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 rear bias. Right, but not bad, like considering like a 911, which is like one of the most popular sports cars of all time, heavy rear end bias. Well, I mean, yeah. The, the 911, like the joke, is like they managed to do it despite Newton not being on their side. Yeah. If you're fighting Newton, it's very difficult. Well, it's like yeah, you've, you've got this, the moments of inertia on a, yeah. on a 911 are, don't make any sense. They do once you understand them. Once you, you understand You don't that, want to hang the engine off the right. ass. This is not a wise move. You don't want to let up on the gas when you're in a corner. You, 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 the problem with, it, with, with, a, with, with something that's where the engine is mounted over the rear axle or off the rear axle towards the rear is that your polar moment of inertia is fundamentally screwed. You cannot solve this. It's unsolvable. You're screwed. Right. Polar right. moment of inertia is you're screwed. Right. Like, essentially, if you spun the car like a top, that, that's your polar moment of inertia. <laughs> You're just, I promise I wouldn't swear on this show, by the way. Really? Yeah. To who? So it was my friend. Tell that friend to go fuck himself. Who told you not to swear? <laughs> a friend. Oh, that's um, not a good friend. Yes. That Don't friend I swear. To realize you're fucking Elon Musk. You can do whatever you want, man. If you ever get confused, call me. I'll swear in private. <laughs> swear okay. up a storm. Just say frickin'. It's a fun way. There's like old house moms. <laughs> <laughs> um, wives and shit that have children oh this freaking thing yeah but anyway like, like the Porsche okay. it's kind of incredible how well Porsche handles given that uh, it's the physics yes moments of inertia are, are so messed up uh, to actually still make it work well is, is incredible well if you know how to turn into the corner once you get used to the feeling of it there's actual benefits to it you know there, there are some oh, benefits I, I enjoy I, the car I had before Tesla was a 911 oh okay that was 997 or 6 yeah 97? Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, great car, man. Yeah, I mean, particularly with, on the Porsche Turbo when they had the variable vanes, uh, mm. the turbo, and you didn't have the turbo lag, that was great. Yeah. That was really great. The turbo lag was, it was like, you know, if you floor it, like phone home, call yeah. your mom. <laughs> the older ones, <laughs> like, right? About an hour later, yeah. the car accelerates. And super dangerous, too, because then the real wheels start spinning. And, yeah. Yeah. There's something fun about it, though, like feeling that rear weight kicking around. You know, and again, no, it's, it's not efficient. I, I could feel through it. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. But that's that's what I was talking about earlier about that little car that I have, the ninety three nine eleven. It's just there's it's not fast. It's not it's not the best handling car, but it's more satisfying than any other car I have because it's so mechanical. It's like everything about it like crackles and bumps and it gives you all this feedback and I take it to the comedy store because when I get there I feel like my brain is just popping and it's on fire. It's like a strategy for me now that I, I really stop driving other cars there. I drive that car there just for the brain juice. Just for the the, yeah. the inner the interaction. I mean, you should try it. Model S P100D. I'll try It'll it. It'll blow your mind okay. out of your skull. Okay. Yeah. Tell me what to order. I'll order it. Model S P100D. Okay. Jamie, that's the, down. That's the car that I drive. Okay. Okay, I'll get with the car you drive. Okay. It will blow your mind How out of your skull. How far can I drive? I believe you. How yeah. far can I drive? How far About can 300 I drive? About 300 miles. That's good. For LA regular days, that's You'll good. never notice the battery. Never. Never. How hard is it to get like one of them crazy plugs? Installed in your house, that difficult? No, it's it's super easy. It's like yeah, you... it's like a dryer plug. It's like a dryer outlet.